Hey guys, it's Lenana XXX, and today I'm coming at you guys with the DIY nail tutorial that you can do at home. It's very easy, and very inexpensive, and it's super fun. So let me get started with the materials that you'll need. The most important thing that you're gonna need are some nails. Now, each of these bags have a number on them. So each number equals a different size. You can get about 500 of these for on eBay for a few bucks, and I'll put a link below, or you can just get them at Walmart. They're super inexpensive. inexpensive. Next, you'll need some nail glue. This is maximum speed nail glue. It dries in three seconds, so you can get this for a couple bucks at Walmart. This is optional, but you may need some cuticle oil. I got this from eBay for just a dollar. Now, this is a nail tool. You can use this, and if you don't have one of these, you can just use a cuticle pusher. And you'll also need a nail file, and I would recommend a crystal nail file. You'll also need a handy dandy pair of nail clippers. And please do not forget Q-tips. These are gonna fix any mistakes that you'll have. And you'll use your nail polish remover to fix these mistakes. I would suggest acetone because the cheap nail polish remover at your local convenience store really doesn't work as well. And I know it smells strong, but I got this in lavender scent. So here I have the nails that fit me the best. Of course, you're gonna need five. And like I said earlier, each number equals a different size, so make sure you pick out the ones that best fit your nails for the best results. So here I'm just taking one of the nails out of the bag and placing them on top to see if it's going to be a snug fit. And don't worry if the nail's a little too big, we can just file away the edges for a perfect fit. So next you're going to want to lay your nails out from pinky to thumb. Next I'm going to go ahead and give my nails a good wipe down and then I'm going to go ahead and clip them. Clipping my fingernails will prevent bacteria from growing when the glue is adhered to my nail. Now if this is your first time applying nails, you might want to get some cuticle oil and rub it around the cuticles of your nails and take a cuticle pusher or some type of tool where you can remove the dead skin and clean up around the edges of your cuticle. Now this is the most important step at bonding the nails together. You're going to need to take your nail file and file the tops of each and every one of your fingernails. This creates a rough surface so that the glue bonds better to your fingernail. I have already applied a couple of nails. I just want to show you guys what it's going to look like and how realistic it is. And I want to show you the application in detail. You'll take just a drop of nail glue and you'll move it around with the nozzle of the nail glue. Make sure it's evenly spread around the nail and then carefully take your plastic nail and slip it on from top to bottom and clasp it over your finger for about three seconds. Just in case you got a little lost, I'll show you how to do it once again. In the process of placing these nails on your finger, some of the nail glue might squeeze out. Do not wipe it with your fingers. I repeat, do not wipe it with your fingers. That'll be a good way to get your fingers stuck together. Take a Q-tip and some alcohol and rub it around the glue until it disappears. Now we can start with the trimming process, unless you want to keep your nails this long. You can go ahead and take your nail clippers and trim your nails to the desired length. Also, there are very many different ways you can shape these nails. I know a lot of you guys like the trend of the long, sharp nails. All you have to do is cut these nails into a triangle shape and file them so that they're round at the edge and you can achieve that look. No matter which style you choose, make sure you go around the nail and file the edges. Test the nails, run your hands across them to make sure that they're not sharp and will not cut you. And finally, we can move on to the polishing process. Now this polish I got from Body Central, as you can see, it's only $2.90. I love getting my nail polish from uh, stores in the mall because they usually have fast drying nail polish and it's usually very vibrant and it's really good quality. Just be patient with your nails and take your time. And don't forget about your clear coat. 
And it's okay, if you make mistakes, just grab your nail polish remover and a Q-tip and go around your nails. Thank you guys for watching my DIY nail tutorial. Just in case you guys are wondering, these nails will last for two weeks by themselves, or you can go ahead and take them off with your teeth. Thank, Thank you guys for watching my DIY nail tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on my links below in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.